second game of the day of the seven seed, Ohio State taking on number two, Purdue. And this game, you know, both coaches. Hi, hi, how you doing? Let's get this game started. All right, top of the first, Tyler Cowles hits it deep in the right center gap. Both runners will score. Ohio State jumps out to the 2-0 lead. As you can tell, Tanner Edwards, Purdue ace, gets off to a shaky start. But then Nick D'Alessandro helps out his pitcher. That's going to roll through the legs of Dylan Engler and Tyler Powers scores and we are tied at two. Harry Shipley then, you need, need a run? I'm going to single up the middle. That'll usually do it, Michael, right? And that put the Boilers up three to two. But Tanner Andrews, I mentioned that shaky start that he was off to. Not the case later in the game. Boy, did he settle in nicely, Michael. Yeah, really, he was in the zone with the start of the pitch, falling out of the zone, which is what you wanted. Uh, Tanner Tully for Ohio State, too much in the middle of the plate. Tanner Andrews, not even close to the middle of the plate. So we go bottom of the sixth. Evan Warden hits a loop to center. Jackson McGowan scores. That puts the Boilers up 5-2. to two. But you know what? They weren't done. Harry Shipley, the plate, rips it to right center. And all three runners score. So that means your final, Purdue wins 8-2. to two. Now, the winner of this game is going to take on the winner of the first game of the day. But first, let's go to some post-game sound. Tanner, you ran into some adversity early. Tell me about your thought process and when this Ohio State team, what you did after that first inning. Yeah, the first inning was a little tough. They, they were a good hitting team, and they uh, put some at bats together. I was uh, falling behind early, which is something you can't do against an offense like that. And I think that... I'll put them in good hitting counts, and they're good hitters, so they, they got to the fastballs and uh, knew when the sliders were coming because they, we knew had, they knew we had to do something different. So uh, it was a tough first inning, but I came in and I regrouped. My teammates got me and said, hey, uh, put up zeros and we'll, we'll win this game. And uh, they believed in me, and my team believed in me. Yeah! My teammates believed in me, my coaches believed in me, and my defense made great plays all day and uh, allowed me to work deep in this game. Boy, the, the, the start of the game, we were playing uphill bad. You know, I mean, they get a two right away in the first after we get their leadoff guy and an extended at bat, and he strikes out. We're thinking, okay, here we go. Uh, and then the next thing you know is, you know, like a good club, it does. They strung two runs together in the inning, and we were playing uphill. It seemed like for the first, first four innings of that game, no matter what we decided to do, we... Um, we blew some things, and we had six shifts that we put on that got beat. Uh, even though some plays got made, they had to be some pretty special plays for them to pick us up on some of the shifts, so I was happy our guys were able to do that. 